quality along those main routes where the traffic is nose to tail, where the, the fumes are being pumped out, it is unacceptably poor. And I think if people knew the facts, they would probably be more angry about it. For kids who are going to school down those routes, it's effectively like them smoking on the way to school. You know, if, if people kind of had the facts presented to them in that direct way, I think there'd be a bigger outcry for something uh, to be done about it. So what can we do uh, about air quality? But, but stepping away from transport for a moment and looking into the broader environmental agenda, what is our, our green vision for Greater Manchester uh, into, the, into the future? I, I've taken the view that we need to be a centre for renewable energy uh, and we need to have a policy with our universities and our industry uh, to really make that come to life. I, I personally believe we should have a presumption against fracking in Greater Manchester. That's because... I believe it belongs to the past and we've got to be building a city region that is thinking about the future <coughs> and where Greater Manchester always likes to be ahead of the game. So why don't, why don't we set ourselves the goal of being the centre for renewable energy uh, in this country, working with our universities uh, and our, uh, our businesses? Again, how might we do that? Can we encourage more community generation of electricity if we're going to have a new generation of social and council housing? Could we build... Um, community uh, energy schemes uh, into that. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts today uh, about, um, uh, about that.